Hi, I'm Alan Buell from the National Slate Association. In this six-part series, we will show you some basic principles and good practices for installing a slate roof. In this segment, let's start with underlayments. It is not uncommon to find older buildings with slate roofs that continue to perform very well with no underlayments at all. Today, underlayment is required by the International Building Code as well as most local codes. The IBC requires a minimum of type one 15 pound felt and ice and water shield on all eaves in regions where the average daily temperature during the month of January is 25 degrees or less. The eave ice and water shield should extend three feet past the exterior wall. We also suggest that ice and water shield is used at details including valleys, rakes, gussets, low sloped areas, and built-in gutters to name a few. Traditionally, 30 pound asphalt felts have been used and performed very well. Modern synthetic underlayments can offer advantages of a longer exposure time before being covered and can provide a better grip for walking. With a wide range of underlayments available, do some research to be sure you're getting the best underlayment for your project. On a standard slope slate roof, three inches of lap and six inches of side lap is suggested. And of course, always install the underlayments with the laps shedding water. Low sloped roofs will have different underlayment requirements, which can be found in the NSA slate manual. I hope this has helped you understand the basics of underlayments when installing a slate roof.